Hey everyone, I pray everyone is blessed. Um, I just wanted to get on here right quick to encourage someone. Um, there are times that even as we are believers in Christ and we are born again, we are suffering. Some of us are hurting so bad and we don't know who to go to, you know, and at times we'd be like, yeah, I prayed, but this thing go away, you know, I'm still going through it. It's okay not to be okay sometimes, you know, I think so many times we got people thinking that we always are going to be all right. We're not going to always be all right. There's some that are struggling and they're, just, they're going through spiritual warfare that they can't tell just anyone because they won't understand. Or just some literally will tell you that they don't want to hear it. Um, you're not alone. I'm here to tell you you're not alone. You're not crazy. We are going through a spiritual warfare that only those that are truly with Christ would understand and it's some of us are feeling it more than others right now but I'm here to tell you that you can cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares for us and we can lay our burdens down at his feet at his throne and just tell him tell God how you feel and tell him that you're hurting tell him that I'm going through something that I don't think I can make myself out of it. It's okay to get alone, be by yourself, and really just get with God. Turn off your phone, turn off social media, turn turn all that stuff down, and get before God. He created us, so He knows how to heal. He knows how to mend broken hearts. He knows how to help us mourn for those that are mourning, you know? It's okay not to tell cool people and just tell them your business. It's okay to just begin before just you and God. Um, there's going to be times we got to get ready for persecution. We got to get ready to be have our own family members turn against us. We got to get ready for that. And the Bible it says that, you know, he didn't come to bring peace, but a sword. And it's because it's going to be people that um that say that they believe in christ but when the persecution comes are they gonna you know really be standing sometimes we got to get ready to be standing alone you know and i remember i did a video on count the cost of what it comes you know what it costs to be a christian and it's going to take that where in your own home people are not going to accept you in your own home they're not going to want to hear what you got to say you know and yeah there's going to be times it hurts you know, it's going to be times where, you know, um, you can get persecuted at your own job. You know what I mean? Where you're just trying to do the right thing. And there's people that's going to come against you and lie on you. You know, like, there's going to come a time where your own, you know, people are going to make fun of you because you're a Christian. There's going to be times where you just like, all you're doing is trying to live right. And you're trying to look out for others. And people are not going to want to hear it. And it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. But this is what Jesus was talking about. Now we can understand what Jesus went through. You know, he said that they would hate me. He said they would hate you because of me. You know, Jesus warned us. It's, it's, it's in the scriptures. He warned us that this was happening. We just got to be ready and prepare for it. We got to be ready to pray. And, and let God know, like, hey, you know what? I, I'm going through it. And guide me through this. You get what I'm saying? Because it's not going to be easy. We need to stop acting like everything is easy. Everything is okay. Sometimes it's not going to be okay. It's okay not to be okay. But don't suffer alone. Don't suffer in silence. Call upon the name of the Lord. Tell him that you're hurting. Tell him you need strength. Tell him you need joy in the, in the midst of your sorrow. And let him be your peace. So that means when you, when everybody else turn against you, don't turn against God. Look at Job. He had to go through a lot. But at the end of the day, guess what? He didn't curse God. He still, he still loved God. And he still stood his ground. So even while you're hurting, tell God you're hurting. Let him, let him take care of it. Shut everything down. Don't call your girlfriends and do all that other stuff. Call on God. He's the one that can really take care of it and really commend whatever's going on. He will perfect that which concerns you. We have to be willing to give it to him. Lay it all at his feet. And this is a time at all times when you are going like through it, through it. You got to make sure that you don't try to do your own will. Continue to seek his will. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We got to make sure we're doing his will and not our own because we will get ourselves in trouble. I pray this encourages somebody and I pray that 
yeah i just realized we're gonna go through things on this earth things are not always gonna be easy things are not always gonna be great but who do we call on who do we, who do we put our trust in when things are going bad who do you put your trust on when everybody turns on you and you feel like you don't have nobody god he loves you he would never betray you he would never push you away god is gonna be there so just remember to call on him no matter what and don't turn on him no matter who turn on you god is always there he's somebody you can 100 percent trust i pray you be blessed and continue praying god is there he will never leave you nor forsake you be blessed